guys, Just is a Mess here, I'm Just My Entire Life is a Mess, and today I'm going to show you guys how to make a Hylian shield. And as always, I will uh, be doing it in cosplay, I'm going to be Haruka Nanase. Alright, here's everything you're going to need. First of all, I'm going to tell you about a coupon that you can use. If you search Hobby Lobby coupon on Google, a link will pop up with an official coupon from their website, which is 40% off of one item. This can be used multiple times during the week, but only once per purchase. They have new ones every week with different codes, so you can take multiple trips or ask your friends and family to help you out. It's also available on mobile, so no need to print it out. First, you're gonna need a foam core poster board. I'm not gonna lie, I don't know how big this is, but get however big you want. Okay, okay, Haru, you're taking this too far. Stop, stop. Next, you're gonna need an X-Acto knife. These are pretty cheap, I think only about two or three dollars, especially if you use the coupon at Hobby Lobby, it's gonna be helpful. Um, depending on the strength, I'm not sure what strength you'll need, but I think I got medium. Now we're going to need one glass of water. Oh, Har Haru, don't even, don't even think about it. The reason we need the water, precious water, is because we have to wet the boards so that they will curve. Next, you'll need a Sharpie or a pen. And one thick piece of an elastic band. Next, you'll need two cans of spray paint. One for the base and one for the outer rim. Or if spray paint isn't your thing, a base acrylic paint of your choosing. And this metallic paint is what I would recommend for the outer rim. Now this next one is important. If you've seen my other tutorials, you know that Mod Podge is essential to all cosplayers. Once you finish painting your shield, you want to spread this all over it with the paintbrush. Not only will it keep the paint from chipping, but it'll give you a nice glossy finish. If you're using spray paint, however, a spray acrylic sealer is advised. Also, two sheets of white craft foam, one being 2 millimeters thick and the other being 5 millimeters thick. Next, you'll need a nice, empty area to start working. Alright, Haru, stop making things weird. I got a big poster board and I'm gonna fold it in half, like so. So, we've got our poster board. I'm going to draw half of a Hylian shield on here. That way, when we cut it out, it will be... Even. shield picture on my phone because this is harder than it looks let me tell you before you start cutting I would suggest that you tape the sides together so that it doesn't move when you cut it because that's what happened to me and it ended up being just a little bit uneven but it was fixable all right next we're going to tape our cutout onto the foam core poster board that I showed you earlier and then we're gonna take our Sharpies that we had and or a pen, doesn't really matter, and we're gonna trace that out. Now it is time to take our X-Acto knife and start dissecting, I mean, cutting out. Now, if you have one of those sponges on a stick or you wanna go get one yourself, you can use this, but you can also use a paper towel that you have at home. So we're going to get it soaking wet and we're just gonna spread the water all over the board because you know how when paper gets wet, it bends a little bit when it dries? Well, that's pretty much exactly what's gonna happen with this foam core poster board. Only the entire thing will bend, but we're gonna have to help it along. So with random things that you find around your house, create a tower sort of thing, two towers that you can put your shield on and then little heavy things that you can put on top of it to make it bend. Line we use to create the shield. Well, now we're going to use this um, to trace another one. And once you trace another one on a separate piece of paper, make sure you cut out around it bigger so that it becomes bigger than the shield. And then you're going to cut out, um, draw and cut out what you think the shield should look like so that you have your outer rim. Now it's really hot outside. I'm in a jacket. So <laughs> I'm gonna try to do this really quickly. Uh, we're gonna bring our shield outside and the outing, the outer part, and we're going to spray paint them both black. Now, we're gonna spray paint that part silver later, but right now we're just gonna do it black, so let's go. So yeah, you do that. 
that for a while. When you do a black coat before you do the silver coat, it just looks better. It looks more like metallic. Once you're done spray painting, uh, it should look something like this. The outer rim, which should be bigger than the original shield, is silver. Um, and depending on whether you're doing dark link or regular link, it'll be blue and or black. So next we're going to cut out all the little pieces that go on it. Alright, hate to interrupt, but uh, I just moved halfway across the country and I didn't get to film everything that I wanted to. So now I'm here to explain to you exactly what needs to happen next. I printed out a template that I just googled, I googled Hylian Shield template. Alright, you're going to trace the template on a sheet of craft foam. I think this is two millimeters thick, these ones are, the white ones. Um, I wish my hand wasn't black so I didn't blend into everything. What I did for the Triforce was I drew a triangle on some craft foam and then I traced it two times and then I cut that out. And that way they were all even, but um, getting them on to be symmetrical is a little bit tough. Uh, but I mean, I somewhat did it. You can somewhat do it. These things were not from the template because I didn't like what the template had for this. So I just drew my own and then traced that and then painted them and then I... I traced them and then I cut them out and I put them on here. And um, you can paint them if you want to before you attach them. If there's, if you trace it and there's lines and you're like, oh no, what do I do? White paint is a fantastic thing. Now before you glue the outer rim onto the base, what you're going to want to do is trace out these things. So you want to get this, put it on a piece of, I believe this is 5mm thick um, craft foam. I believe this is the 5mm craft foam. This is what it looks like. This is the thickness. And what you want to do is trace this. You're going to trace this part onto the craft foam, and then you're going to trace the outer part onto the craft foam, and then just draw a line connecting them, you know? And then you're going to cut that out and put those on the edges here. Oh, no. <sighs> Hello? Yes, that is me. When it comes to painting these, you can spray paint them with the same spray paint that you use for the outer ring, or Dazzling Metallics, Shimmering Silver is the shade. And once you have these cut out, you're going to want to put them all the way around, even up here, even though I'm lazy and I didn't do that. Shimmering Alright, when it comes to these little knobs you see here, um, you're going to want to use these things. They look like bolts, like it would be like bolted in, so it's like actual metalish looking, even though it's really just paper. Last thing, ready? After all of this is put on and the shield looks awesome like this, then you're like, hell yeah, let's use this. You can't really pick it up, can you? So what you want to do is take that elastic band we talked about earlier, and you're just going to glue that on the back so that it makes a nice little holdy thing. I'm actually not a big fan of the spray paint. Uh, <laughs> it looks like fuzzy and gross, the black part, and you probably can't really tell, but there are some scratch marks up here. Uh, yeah, you can see it now. It's just, ugh, I don't like it. After you have completely finished your Hylian shield, you have one last task to perform, and that is sharing it with me via Instagram and or Facebook. If you want to follow me on Instagram, it is Ultimate Avatar Freak and Jess is a mess on Facebook. Alright, and after that, you're finished. You've got everything you need to be Dark Link. Whoa, man! Or Regular Link, because of course you could do different colors. But I am Dark Link. <laughs> And for the total of how this comes out, it's about $15, maybe $20 if you don't use as many of the coupons. Be sure to click that subscribe button so you can see my next video on how to make Death the Kid Liz and Patty Twin Pistols for only $25. For, for the both of them. They're both together, the $25. Wow. These aren't actually complete yet, but... <laughs> if you subscribe and you see that next video, oh, they're gonna be complete and they're gonna be awesome. I don't exactly know what I'm doing with my life, but I hope that you can join me on the journey to finding out. See you next time. So that's how your Master Shield will look. Master Shield? After you finish your shield completely, you have one more task to do. <laughs> print these out on a piece of paper, and then... <clears throat> what else would you print them out on? I don't know why I set up a piece of paper, like, print them out on brick. Mm-hmm. <laughs>